in the last three months, I spent a lot of time around gold and platinum producers, whether that's on dinners, whether that's in studio sessions or on phone calls. And I started noticing three patterns that really stood out to me and I wanted to share them with you today. Number one, daily networking. Almost all of them do some sort of networking every single day. They try to work with new people, try to get in contact with new people or do something to get their music heard by new or more people. Just make it a habit to network every day with people and you'll get to a whole new level. Don't just try to network in the US because everyone's trying to do that. Go for smaller markets. If you're German, do the German market. If you're French, do the French market or just attack these smaller pockets and get some success in there. All these accolades in those smaller markets, you can translate over and then go for the big fish in the US or something like that. And it's just about getting your music in front of new people every single day, getting new people to lock in with you, to fuck with your stuff. And that's just one of the biggest secrets of their success. And this is not just copy and pasting DM messages in the DMs and not even following the people most of the time. That's just so wrong. It's more about finding ways how you can deliver value. And there are a lot of ways how you can, but you have to be creative. You have to think about it. You have to come up with solutions. And just all the people that have won have found a way to deliver value. And just for you to like kind of understand it more, I'm going to illustrate like three ways how I have seen other people deliver value or how I personally delivered value. And first of those is free artwork. If you're good at artwork designing, you could make that work. But just keep in mind with all those ways that the more people do it, the less valuable it becomes. It's like the more people get exposed to that DM, the less effective it becomes, if it makes sense. And that's why it doesn't make sense for me to just tell you what you should do. Because when everyone starts doing it, the effectiveness goes down exponentially. So with that being said, a second example that I've personally used is sound kits. When I started making my sound kits, I started sending them out to loop makers I wanted to work with. And I've made a lot of solid connections through that. Or the third one will be money. Now there's different forms on how you can leverage money. So everyone likes money. First of all, it's pay collapse. Second of all, you can adjust the splits, whatever. Just get creative and just know like the more people that do it, the less effective it will be. So you have to really understand the concept and come up with your own things on how you can deliver value. I would also include in here sending music out more often. All the people I know, they send at least every other day a pack of samples or beats. Because in my opinion, weekly loops don't really work anymore. You just don't take enough real estate in the inbox of a potential producer you want to work with. So sending out stuff every single day or every other day is definitely part of that too. Point number two, high standards for themselves, for their quality and the quantity of their music. Most producers I know make around five melodies or beats, just five compositions a day, relentlessly, no matter what, they try to get it done. Of course, there might be a day where you can't do it, and then on another day you might do seven or eight. That's how I do it, but on average, around five a day. And when I started, I used to make like one a day or two a day. Just knowing that if you increase that to five a day, you will progress twice as fast. And that's worth it in my opinion. Number three is experimenting more in your music. I mean, how do you think you will stand out if you do the same loops or do the same beats that everyone else does? How are you gonna stand out? It just doesn't make sense. What helped me tremendously is just implementing the rule that I experiment at least once a day. And experimenting for me means using a plugin or sounds I've never used, taking a pattern maybe out of a pop song and putting it into a trap, use effects I've never used, use combinations I've never used, just do weird stuff. And sometimes you won't even know where the whole loop is going. because It's just so weird, but that's a creative aspect we all enjoy the most and if it turns out fire in the end you can keep those techniques that worked and implement them into your music game and just like that you will develop your own style you will develop your own like unique things that you do and it's gonna make you stand out more i mean in the end we're still musicians like we're creative and if you make the same stuff over and over again you will stop enjoying music and why do i know that because i've been there bro like five months ago, I've kind of stopped enjoying music as much as I do now, or 
when I started. The thing that I changed, I was just doing the same loops over and over and over again, but it all changed back to the better when I started experimenting daily and doing weird stuff in my music. If you can implement only one of those three points I just told you, you will increase your chances of success. And all life is about, in my opinion, is just stacking those small incremental wins where you can increase your chances of getting where you want, of achieving your goal. With that being said, bro, if you want to know how you can stay consistent without seeing any results, check this video out.